A quick recap. We learned about objects, how to edit them and use modifiers. Today we're covering a different type of geometry called curves. Let's create one from the add menu and go into edit mode. Just like the objects we worked with so far have vertices, edges and faces, curves have points and the part between two points is called a segment. Also, points form the shape of the curve. Something different from what we've learned so far is that each point has two handles that you can select and move to affect the shape of the curve. If you press V, you can find out there are different types of handles too. To make it easier, the most used are vector and aligned. With vectors, each handle can go on its own way, making sharp corners in the curve, and with aligned, they're connected to each other, making only smooth shapes. But that's not the most important part about curves. If you go into data, then geometry, you can give the curve some thickness. And if you select a point in edit mode, you can see that each one has a radius that you can control after clicking Alt plus S and a tilt option that you can adjust by clicking Ctrl plus T. Something that's similar is we can extrude curves to make them longer and add more points. If you select two points, we can also subdivide them with the right click menu. One last interesting thing about curves is that they have resolution. At the very top of the curve settings, we can see that we can adjust how many segments are displayed and rendered between each point. That way, we can vary between a rough and a smoother shape easily and change it anytime we want. Now that we've covered the basics of curves, in the next episode, we will make the cream topping for our cupcake using these same tools. Also, if you have skipped some of the previous steps but wish to follow along from here, you can get all the project files for this tutorial series from the link in the description below. I'll also be adding some bonus videos in here if anyone wants to speed up their learning process. Subscribe for more tutorials and see you in the next episode.